Now at six, we're learning a teacher in Springfield, Massachusetts died when the car she was riding in crashed with a police cruiser responding to a call. This unfolded just after seven last night in Vernon. Tonight, the I team is digging deeper into this crash. Channel 3 Chief Investigative Reporter Sam Smink is here now with what she has learned. Sam. When we started looking into this crash today, we asked police for dash camera video and learned the cruiser involved was not in compliance with state law. In fact, we've learned all Vernon police cruisers cruisers are behind on new legislation. They do not have dashboard cameras despite being required to. Connecticut's police accountability law signed in July 2020 said all police departments had to put dash cams in every cruiser by July 2022. But Vernon's police department confirms they haven't done so yet. In a statement, a spokesperson says the town of Vernon's police department has been doing its due diligence to acquire dash cams for its cruisers. In addition to equipment per Purchases, the town also had to address financing this unfunded mandate. The Vernon Police Department has had body cams for its officers since 2015, one of the first in the state. New body cam and dash cams have already been ordered. Just an hour ago, police released the names of those involved in Sunday night's crash involving a police cruiser and a Nissan Sentra. They say Officer Andre Lisi, a four-year veteran of the Vernon PD, was the officer driving. He was treated for minor injuries and released from the hospital. The driver of the second vehicle was identified as 33-year-old Philip Vargas. He and a one-year-old suffered minor injuries. Vargas's passenger, 26-year-old Bianca Colon, was killed. She was a teacher at Springfield Prep Charter School in Springfield. Springfield, Massachusetts. A spokesperson for the school says Bianca was a dear colleague, friend, and teacher at Springfield Prep, and her death is a devastating loss to our community. As we reflect on her life and mourn with one another, we are offering our students and staff members counseling and support services today and in the days ahead. Manchester Police and the State Attorney's Office are leading the investigation. Police say the cruiser was responding to an officer needs assistance call for a protective order violation when this happened. Police say the cruiser's lights were on, but they weren't sure about the sirens at the time. We will stay on top of this and bring you more details as we learn them. I'm Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Sam